Uh, today I'm presenting an abstract about autoimmune hemolytic anemia and uh, uh, the treatment uh, uh, of this disease with the new compounds and in particular with uh, a drug called APL2 which is a complement inhibitor. Uh, so the um, aim of the study uh, was to um, assess the efficacy and the tolerability of this treatment, this uh, uh, inhibition of the C3 uh, pathway of the complement uh, with uh, uh, a new drug to assess whether uh, it can improve anemia and the hemolytic markers in autoimmune hemolytic anemias. So um, we uh, enrolled uh, patients with the cold and warm autoimmune hemolytic anemias in a phase two open label study with this uh, subcutaneous drug. And uh, we treated them uh, sub-Q daily with either 270 milligrams or 360 milligrams per day for a period of 48 weeks to see whether we uh, could find some hematologic improvement and whether the drug was well tolerated. The use of C3 inhibitors in autoimmune hemolytic anemia and of this APL2 in this study was able to induce hematologic improvement and complete response in a good proportion of patients with cold agglutinin disease and in particular average hemoglobin levels significantly ameliorated from baseline in a period of 28 months and this response appeared to be sustained. In warm autoimmune hemolytic anemia cases we observed mainly partial response, however the 2 gram hemoglobin uh, increase was uh, significant, clinically significant for these patients and also in these cases the response was maintained. And all hemolytic markers both in cold and warm cases completely ameliorated and normalized.